Pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. You're here today with your pilot Ryan, and on the bench we have the Free Wing 70 millimeter F16. This is officially a V2, although it's a lot different than the V1. Uh, it's made out of EPO foam. The wings screw on. Uh, there is no thrust vectoring like the V1 had, but this one does have retracts, which is super cool. Also, 12 bladed fan. So. We are going to offer this in two different versions, a four cell version and a six cell version. The six cell version, uh, we're going to go with our 4000s in it. And uh, same with the four cell version, it's calling for 4000 as well. So we're going to see how that feels um, and go with it that way. Looks like a very easy build. Um, we've got a fishing line here. We might have to do a little fish and pull some wires through and whatnot. But um, we have four different livery options. Very, very cool. We're going to start building this thing right now. Let's take a good look at the parts first. From the nozzle to the tip, the fuselage looks fantastic. You see the hard points for the wings. And then the nose, you can see the magnetic nose cone there. Those different livery options. Wings look nice. And one thing I thought was really cool is these rails. Now they glue on, but they're cased in plastic. So if you do go with the optional kit, they're going to slide in really easily. And if you don't, you're going to have these nice solid plastic on the outside rails, which is really cool. So the first step is going to be to install the spar and then the wing. So simply slide this over and through here. making sure it's centered and while you're at it you're gonna remove this piece of tape on both sides and this is the access for the wiring so go ahead and pull that off and you'll see that it should expose the wire for you the connector Go ahead and get a hold of that and have it sticking out. You simply slide the wing half over the spar. Go ahead and plug this in. Noting polarity. And it's a very snug fit. Look at that. Super snug. Now you use the big flathead screws to attach the wing. Now the next step since the wings are done is to install the vertical stab and its reinforcing rod. Always a good idea to dry fit these parts before you get glue on them and just just so you know that they're gonna work because um, now's the time to carve on them if you need to at all. I'm not being stingy with this glue either. Putting plenty on. Very good. And then the carbon stiffener goes in here and is glued. You can use CA or you can use the glue provided. I'm using the glue provided. fits in there like so now I suggest to flip it over and let it cure now you can see that this has quite a long lead and supplied with the kit is you can see it sticking out here 
is a fishing rod. So I went ahead and ran that through very easily and I'm going to do myself a favor and uh, pull this rudder line through with that. Perfect. I've got contact out the other side. Brilliant. So glad they supplied this kind of stuff. It really makes it a lot easier. And again, we're going to dry fit this before we glue it up. Looks great. The wire's out of the way. We know it's good. Now it's time to glue this thing. And I'm going to glue inside rather than on the vertical because I just want to keep the mess inside. If I have any doubts about it, I can always CA it later. Pull your rudder line, make sure it's out of the way. Very nice. That fits really good. Now this is the part where you glue on the rails. Awesome. Those look sweet. Other side, same as the first. So after you install the vertical uh, stab, that there's one port left on the blue box that's labeled rudder. That goes there. And then you can use this one wire to get to your receiver from there. So there's no need for a Y, uh, nothing like that. It's all done in the box. It's really cool. So now that the blue box and receiver is all configured, it is time to flip this thing over, show you the retracts, then we can glue on some of the last little bits and screw on the ventral fins, things like that. We're getting super close. Here we go. Now the ventral fins just screw to the outboard of these plastic tabs. Nice countersunk screws uh, fit fairly flush there with the ventral. Very nice. Now, as promised, let's back it out and take a look at these retracts operate. There they go. Nice metal trunnion retracts with metal reinforcing plates. Very cool. The elevators come with these linkages. They already have the eyelet on as well as a carbon fiber sleeve, which is really cool. And there's the, the eyelet for the ball link. And according to the manual, outer position on the holes. And for now, I'm going to make mine basically even with the bottom. Uh, the dimensions at the top would be a little bit different, so I'm going to go with that. Now here we are with the aileron linkage, and it calls for you to use the second hole down from the top, second hole down from the top on both surfaces. Click it. Slide over the tubing and there you go. Other side, same way. If you get the optional rocket kit, they glue on right here. The optional for the wing tip, you can see that the uh, missile there has the tabs and then simply slide into the notches on the rail itself, which is plastic. And there's a strip of reinforcement in the missile. You can see there a little bit. Um, very cool. Now again, these are optional, but you do get the rails. The rudder linkage goes on the outside hole of the servo arm, and the middle second hole 
of the control horn. The aileron and rudder control rods are identical in length. The rudder linkage goes on the outer hole of the servo arm and the second center hole of the control horn. The rods for the aileron and the rudder are the exact same length. Well, pilots, that wraps up the build of the killer free wing 70mm F16C. Comes with the option for um, three different livery sets. Here's just some of the decals. I've already begun with the yellow and black there. You see the fin flash up there. Um, very cool. And other, other, except for this yellow and black up here, this is what you get. So if you wanted to do your own scheme, uh, it's 112th scale. You can have Cali hit, hit you up with that. Um, very cool. Epo foam, 12 bladed fan, 6 cell power system. We're going to offer it in two versions, 4 cell and 6 cell. Both are 12 bladed fans and sound fantastic. Magnetic nose cone, screw on wings, um, super slick and really fast. The retracts, there's nothing to them. Um, they work really nicely. Take another look at those. The ventrals just bolt on. There's the cheater for the fan and access to it if you need to get back there. So there's the retracts, um, metal trunnion retracts, metal reinforcement plates. Very cool. I have my battery in there now and it feels great. Feels really good. Feels really good. So I have, for, for the record, uh, I have our 4000 Admiral right here at the back. And this is just CG on the bench. So I'm going to see how it flies that way, but um, I'm liking it. All I got to do is set up the throws per the manual and I'm ready to go. Nice latch mechanism right here. So you're not going to be losing this. Very cool magnetic nose cone. Pilots, you know where to get it, MotionRC.com. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Google+. Don't forget to jump into the conversation at the Hobby Squawk forums. We'll see you there. Uh, this is your pilot, Ryan, on the bench with the free wing, brand new, version 2, 70mm, 12-bladed fan, F16C. Three different livery options. Can't wait to get this thing up in the air, guys. Check it out. This thing is going to scoot. See ya.